Finally, I was able to get my model SP100D down to really low. I've been trying to record this video for three times, but every time something happens, the first time I had to take my Tesla to the service center for some quick service. Second time, a couple of my friends wanted to try out the car, so I had to move it from chill mode back to ludicrous. And <clears throat> this last time I was able to almost um, not to drive in ludicrous. I got some ladies yesterday in the car, so they wanted to try how fast the car can go. Um, so I had to switch back to ludicrous. Other than that, I was driving in chill mode. And so how does it feel driving a Model S P100D in chill mode? Guys, it sucks. Really, really sucks. Like, I've never hated my car more than like what I do right now. Uh, it's it's freaking slow. You can't overtake a car like it feels like driving a Camry They should call like the chill mode Camry mode, you know, or the Prius mode because this is how it feels <clears throat> Going back to chill mode from ludicrous um, Acceleration is very slow um, <clears throat> I was driving following the speed limits as well trying to kind of like uh, also behave as a chill mode driver and um as you know, if you drive within the speed limit, everybody overtakes you on the highway because everybody is going like 10 miles more. And it was kind of hard, you know, I was like taking the right side of the highway just on the slowest lane to kind of give the way to other drivers. And I usually never do that. Like I usually like to drive on the fastest lane, going as fast as I could within, you know, um, the limits. Um, so it was really hard, you know, and, and trying to finish the whole range of the battery was even harder because um, you don't know, like sometimes you may want to switch to Ludacris, which is what happened. The other time I um, I wanted to get the car for service, but then they kind of charged the car after you take it to them. So that didn't work either. And even yesterday when I really tried not to do the Ludacris, um, my friends were like, okay, let's try it. Let's give it a shot. So they were so happy. I guess this is what matters at the end of the day. You know, you should be able to enjoy the car. So right now, let me show you the range that I got on my Model S P100D in chill mode. Now, as you can see, I got about 230 miles. This is actually at 90% battery. Of course, if you charge it to 100%, you're gonna get more range. I would say maybe probably 30 more miles. I don't know. I don't wanna do it to 100% because Tesla doesn't recommend that. And actually, I should not have brought the range down to 8 miles because that's really low for the battery. Um, if I switch it to uh, energy, so as you can see, it's 3%. Tesla recommends not going below 15% if you could before charging again. Otherwise, it will decrease the life of the battery. You know, temperature-wise, it's 60 Fahrenheit. If I switch to the kilometers, um, for those uh, who live outside the U.S., it's about 370 uh, kilometers and uh, let me move the range back to distance and I got around 14 uh, kilometers left so I would say the car potentially can reach um, closer to 390 maybe 380 but this is again at 90% if you switch it to 100% you're gonna surpass 400 miles temperature is uh, 16 degrees Celsius um, so the weather in San Diego is um, moderate and th this brings me back to the second point so if the temperature is too cold then you get less range because the chemistry within the battery gets affected so you get lower range um, plus uh, you know the car has to warm up the battery in order to operate so you lose some of the range now on the other hand if it's too hot then you may be tempted to run the air conditioning. You know, I had to use it yesterday because it was really hot in San Diego, especially at noon inside the car with all the windows closed. So again, using the AC probably lowered my range a little bit. Other than that, I didn't use the air conditioning. But if you're continuously driving with the AC on, then you're gonna lose more range. So the temperature within San Diego is about, I don't know, like 16 Celsius all the way, it can be to 25 Celsius. So between, I would say, 60 degrees all the way up to maybe 78 or 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And, and, and that's a good range for the battery. You know, this is like the optimum temperature where you want to use your um, or drive your car. Um, the other thing is how you drive. So do you do more highway? Do you do more city? Um, I did combined. I did the more on the highway probably 
um, getting to work and coming back and then a little bit within the city and even within the city I, I work in in a city that um, has no traffic jam which is good you know but again you lose some of the range because you're always driving faster than let's say if you were stuck in traffic so the car really shines if you have a lot of a traffic jams because then you drive slow and if you drive it slow then you get more range but again like what's the point like if you have a p100d um, you want to drive it as it should be you know a performance car now if you want to have uh, more range than um, the Model S the 100d will probably give you a little bit more because it doesn't have the performance motor on the back so my car has the performance motor on the back and that uses a little bit more energy so on a 100d you're gonna get higher numbers than the numbers that I got on the performance model you will get less just because you have that performance battery or the performance motor in the back but that's exciting guys like driving fast like as an electric car it's amazing experience this is actually what people should drive this car for so do I get less range yeah but who cares you know at the end of the day uh, it's a usable range it's not like you're gonna drive for 50 miles then you have to charge you know anything for me above 200 miles it's 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 good thing you know and this is what I wanted to talk about because if you have a 75d then you're gonna start with much lower numbers than the numbers that I started with and that means um, you're gonna get realistically lower range you know that's one of the reasons why I think like the 100 is a good number for an electric car uh, if you if you plan to drive within the city a lot um, and you have charging at home available to you I guess the 75d would work but if you do a lot of um, driving on the highway to be honest with you I think the 100 is the one you should go with or the 90d for example that's also a good capacity um, moral of the story I think I really got a good range after out, out of my car um, and uh, driving in chill mode sucks I don't want to do it again I probably I will never do it again unless I have somebody else driving the car you know but uh, to be honest with you I really appreciate ludicrous mode after driving the Tesla chill mode you know so let me stop this pain and this suffering and let's go ahead and switch to oh yeah I feel great now guys I really really feel great this is awesome this is awesome so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any comment you know or question feel free to drop it in the comment below till then take care and peace